So Rich, lots of people want to add worms to their compost heap, perhaps they don't occur naturally. So they sort of get hold of worms and add them in and yeah. sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Is there anything that we can do to... I think there is. I think the most important thing is to make sure that there's a sufficient well-rotted material already in the compost heap. Because yeah. remember the worms are going to be getting in amongst the stuff that's partially rotted you know, and that's what they're going to eat as it softens up. So you know, leave your compost heap for at least six months before you add worms yeah. and then add worms, add them into the bottom of the composter and they'll get in amongst that core, they'll find some of that partially deteriorated material and they'll start chomping. It, absolutely right and it, and it does work and it, it's not always the case that all the worms that you add will stay, some may leave, but a core will certainly stay and they'll breed and within a couple of years you could have an inundated mass of worms in your, uh, in your compost there. And the great thing about composting worms is that in the soil it's been proven that they encourage deep burrowing worms as well. So you're not wasting them. You know, often people think, oh, I've put my worms out into my garden, that's so awful. It's not, is it? No, not at all, not at all. None of these earthworms are, are a problem in the UK. In fact, they'll all be, uh, they'll all complement the, the, uh, the garden to some extent, even if they don't stay in the place that you've specifically added them to, they'll play their part uh, in other elements of, uh, of, of, you know, of, of the garden husbandry. And so what about if you want to start composting with worms and you've not got an existing heap, can you use yeah, that is, what's that? that's a coir block, isn't it? Yep. Uh, coir, fantastic, just a byproduct of coconut um, production. It's, uh, you know, pulped up, compressed into these blocks. The most amazing thing about it is that you can pop it in a bucket of water, leave it overnight, or possibly even a couple of hours, and it expands. I've popped it in a bucket of water, and that will fill that tub truck uh, by the time it's expanded. Get it out, layer it out into a, into a, a conventional compost heap or a wormery, um, whatever it is that you're setting up and, uh, and introduce your worms to it and they love it because of course they eat it but it's very easy for them to negotiate their way through and it's, uh, and it's a fantastic fibrous fodder for, uh, for earthworms so it's a good way to start off a composter or a wormery. Brilliant.